And Dragon Station, we copy. We're going to miss you guys, uh, but it's good to see you go and get get back to your families. Uh, great job on the mission. Godspeed, and uh, we'll see you uh, splashing down safely here in about 17 hours. Great job. Uh, decrease its altitude and get to a trajectory about 10 kilometers uh, below the International Space Station in a co-elliptic orbit. For this particular trajectory to meet up with the landing location, the prime location of Jacksonville, Florida, uh, the trajectory allows for five departure burns. So we'll see that executed over the next 17 hours until splashdown. We do have a correction to that splashdown time. We're aiming for 12.17 a.m. Eastern time especially for these nighttime splashdowns. The crew continues to look pretty calm, collected, and comfortable as they continue to monitor this deorbit burn. We've got just over seven minutes remaining in this deorbit burn. This blackout period is estimated, so we're now beginning to reach out to the crew to see if we've regained that communications capability. What you're... Dragon, SpaceX, comm check. What you're seeing on your screen now is a live view of uh, the thermal cam on the WB-57. And we hear Crew-6 from inside the cabin on the back end of the blackout. Copy, cabin. Dragon. We see a healthy flight computer. Expect automated shoot deployment. SpaceX Dragon, collapses. There's our live view of the crew, our first view of them on the other side of that communications blackout. At this point in time, uh, they are re-entering through the Earth's atmosphere over the coast of Florida, heading towards uh, Jacksonville uh, Atlantic coast. Up next will be the deployment of the drogue parachutes, which should happen in about two minutes, just over two minutes. Dragon Endeavor continuing its slow descent. There we can see splashdown on screen. Those parachutes are then cut and released. Dragon Endeavor has now returned home. NASA astronauts Steve Bowen, Woody Hoberg, Sultan Al Nayadi, and Andre Fajayev. Dragon splashdown. We are in water refining. Thanks, SpaceX Endeavor. Uh, we greatly appreciate all the support from all the initial training through the launch, throughout the mission, uh, keeping us abreast of all the status of the vehicle and all the support all the way down. This has been incredible. Greatly appreciate it. And look forward to working with you all again. Inside of an hour now, and this is from the moment of splashdown at 12.17 p.m. Eastern. It's now 1.14 or 12.17 a.m. Eastern, rather. So it's now 1.14 a.m. Eastern, and we're seeing the third crew member egress. So we're just an, an hour, really, after splashing down that the crew is able to set foot on the recovery vessel. There's Roscosmos cosmonaut Andrei Fedyaev being assisted by the recovery teams onto the rolling chair. He'll also be positioned over to the medical facilities. Last remaining crew member inside Dragon Endeavor now is Emirati astronaut Sultan Al-Niyadi, completing 186 days in space.